Tickets on sale now at all Ticketmaster locations. Ticketmaster.com, the Seneca Niagara Casino, the Seneca Allegheny Casino Box Office, and RagingWolf.com. It's mayhem in the mess. Don't you dare miss it. Alexis Davis from Port Coburn, Ontario, training at a gay ball jiu-jitsu. Alexis, what got you involved in mixed martial arts? Uh, we used to have another guy at our gym that trained who was doing MMA. and something that I really wanted to get into, watching him train. And so uh, Master Dave decided to throw me into the world as soon as possible to help grow. You're doing a good job of that. How long have you been actively training in mixed martial arts? I've been training for six years now. Wow. Any particular style, discipline? I train in Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and Thai kickboxing. We also study a bit of judo. We do, we add a little bit of wrestling once in a while too. So overall, well-rounded oh, yeah. training routine. Any rank in those various styles? I have my black belt, Japanese jiu-jitsu, under Dave Gateball, and my brown belt, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, under White Grace and Dave Impressive. Would you consider yourself more of a stand-up fighter or a ground fighter? Definitely a ground fighter. Our club is more adapting more for ground game than it is for stand-up, although we do do a lot of stand-up as well. Do you have uh, any special training routine, any special tra strategy for this fight? Uh, we're studying a lot of films. She's got a couple of YouTube videos out there, there, so we're hoping um, we're going to learn a lot from it. I know she does do jiu-jitsu and has a good ground game as well, but a lot of her fights have been stand-up in there, so I've been really trying to push my cardio with my stand-up game. Taking it to the next level. What does the future hold for you, the mixed martial arts future hold for you? I think I'll be up there at the top. You'll be seeing me next on um, pay-per-view, watching big time there. Women you know, growing every day, so I'm hoping to be up number one. If there's one thing that drives you, motivates you to train hard, fight hard, and perform well in mixed martial arts, what would that be? Probably being from a small town. Uh, I'd like to get out there. You know, I don't want to be stuck in this, you know, the same place for my whole life as most people do. I'm constantly pushing myself in there. I'm probably hardest on myself than anybody else is. So Alexis, you're breaking the cycle, breaking boundaries. Now this cage door closes behind you. What can the Raging Wolf fans expect to see from Alexis? They should expect to see an awesome fight regardless of what happens. Girls are going to come in and we're going to smash it up, dig it out, and we're going to steal the show. So you call the girls being the barn burner for the night? Of course, we're going to steal it for sure. Well, thanks Alexis. We look forward to seeing you fight. Thank you.